So according to one of my teammates on Columbia, Kate, this is an incredibly easy speech for me to give because as she said, there's nothing I enjoy doing more than talking about the things that I love. And I really, really love collegiate cycling. I mean, first of all, there are these people and they're your teammates that are sitting next to you. And through my memory of racing, we would drive five hours to some race because Whitman's in the middle of nowhere and it would rain and you're with these people for 72 hours straight and you eat bad food and you're exhausted and you're dirty. But then I would get home at the end of each weekend and I'd be home for about an hour before I would get that feeling in the pit of my stomach because I realized that I really missed my teammates and that going to breakfast with them the next day seemed really far away. And I don't think that that's just the Whitman students. In general, I feel that collegiate cycling just breeds amazing people. And I thought about why. And I mean, nobody here is technically just a cyclist. We all have to be students first. And so you've got a bunch of people who are learning all of this fascinating stuff about whatever subject it is that they love most. And at the same time, they're committing themselves with the same dedication and the same time and the same training and effort to a sport that anyone who wants to race at a national level is going to have to dedicate themselves. And so you get these people who are intelligent, they're passionate, they're committed, and they're just amazing to be around. And they're here doing something that they absolutely love because no one's doing collegiate cycling for any reason than that they just love it and they think it's the most fun thing to do. You're not doing it because you're gonna get any money doing, money for doing it. And you're not doing it for prestige. And, you know, I hear that they're giving out free massages at the Hilton this year, but that's about all you're gonna get out of it. <laughs> and you're just here because you think it's the most fun thing in the world, and I think that it's pretty unique and remarkable to be around a group of people who feel that way. And all the coaches and conference directors and the trustees and volunteers and everybody, they don't get out of this description either because they don't even get to race their bikes and they still think it's that valuable to be a part of the experience and make sure that nobody else misses out on it. And so you're with all of these amazing people and you're not even doing normal, boring, everyday things. You're doing things, from my experience at least, you know, instead of sending out beg letters to parents for a fundraiser, um, my senior year, we threw a spandex party and I think they've done another one since then where if you wore spandex to the party, you got a discount on admission. And that's actually pretty smart because nobody's gonna look cool. Sorry to burst any bubbles. Nobody's ever gonna look cool in cycling clothes. But if you're a cyclist, you'll at least look a lot better in them than everybody else will. <laughs> and we stayed in a church basement and decided it was our best accommodations yet and all got to cook together in the industrial kitchen. And I got to get up every Wednesday morning with three of my best friends and do team time trial practice before we all went out to breakfast together. And then there's just the enjoyment you get from witnessing things. Witnessing things like one of my teammates trying to make a time trial helmet by gluing a cup onto the back of his regular helmet and covering it all with a swim cap. Or <laughs> watching Dave and Glenn, who were our mentors on the team, pack an entire bike rack into a bag and then try and reassemble it on top of our rental van in Kansas. Or in 2006 Nationals, when we all agreed as a team that we were gonna show up in cowboy theme, and the boys decided instead to show up in turquoise sweaters and these little skull caps as elves and completely upstaged us. And so these are normal experiences that you get to have every single day, and it's a pretty wonderful thing to be a part of. And then let's go big picture. Because everyone talks about how the experiences that you're having every day are what's shaping what you're gonna be able to do in the future. And so we get to learn all of these lessons through collegiate cycling, like teamwork. Because we won 2006 conference champs by like five points out of 3,000 or something ridiculous like that. And we were talking about it and we realized that if one sea racer who just decided to come out for a weekend to see what cycling was about and scored at the bottom of the points bracket, if that person hadn't come, we wouldn't have won. And you learn networking from talking to alumni to find homestays or talking to sponsors in the community or finding coaches to mentor the team. 
and problem solving, like trying to fit 18 bikes and 18 riders into two SUVs. Or time management skills, when you realize about halfway through spring semester that you're not going to do any homework on a weekend ever again. And you're not also going to miss a race, so you're going to have to figure something out. And I'm standing here, and it's pretty obvious for me to say that collegiate cycling has shaped my involvement in it, has shaped everything that I'm doing right now. My freshman year, I'd never done a road race, and the only reason I did it to start out with was kind of because I got peer pressured into it. And now that's all that I do. And my very best friends at Whitman were all on the collegiate team. And since I've left Whitman, I actually was thinking about this today, and I realized that my roommates have all been exclusively collegiate cyclists from CU Boulder. And despite having graduated, I've slightly shamefully still maintained my membership on the Whitman Women's Listserv. And they kicked me off the regular one, but I made up for that by weaseling my way onto the CU one so I can come to their events and sort of stand there and imagine what it would be like if I got to race with them that weekend. Collegiate cycling also made me the athlete that I am. And, I'm, and it made me the sort of athlete who, when my director tried to make a joke at some race in Belgium and said, oh, you know, the hotel's out of rooms, you're gonna have to sleep in the tent out back. Um, I said, really? And he said, no, because I actually believed him and he was trying to make me sad, but he made me excited instead. <laughs> or when our team doctor sat us down to give us a talk about race nutrition, um, I figured I already had a pretty good idea of what I should do for pre-race because I got to learn from people like Sam Johnson who at my very first collegiate race he not only ate his entire dinner at Olive Garden but he filled the pouch of his hoodie up with free bread sticks and managed to eat all of those on the 15 minute drive from the restaurant to our homestay and then he went on to place I think in the top three the next day so I mean you can't really mess with success on that one. 